The other two interesting features in creating 3D curves in SOLIDWORKS are creating the curve by inputting x, y, z points and creating helix and spiral curves. Let's see how we can create this. SOLIDWORKS environment. Here I will go and say create helix and spiral curve. Select this top plane. Create a circle which will define the size of the spring and I'll make 20, 30 mm and I will input here as done and now let's here see here you have the callouts if you want to input the value you can input here. I'll go and say I need a pitch and revolution. Here I will say pitch is 30 mm and a revolution I need 5 revolutions. So now you can understand what is pitch and what is revolution. Here in the revolution we are given 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and with ending of this one here half and in the top half you can see totally four revolutions and when i say i need height and revolution here you need to input height how much how how long you want to create this helical curve you need to enter the height and it has to create uh, by clockwise or counterclockwise and apart from this you can also define taper helix and when you define taper helix you know that the helix Tapper helix is used in most of the uh, instruments where you require the cushioning effect, where you want to uh, where you want to avoid the hard joshing in the component. And you can see normally these type of springs in the walls, where you want to keep the alignment of the uh, component, but if any load is applied on the part this will uh, it this will exactly uh, take all the load with a small impact on the component and uh, let, let's see next one variable pitch variable pitch as you know we, we used to have this type of uh, geometries in our shock observer means the top should have a pitch of uh, so here the pitch is uh, 30 mm at the top and in the end it is 30 and in the middle i will say one more uh, revolution i will say 10 mm revolution i'm sorry i don't use this height and revolution i'll go and say height and pitch so that the control will be easy for us to understand so control will be easy for you to understand how this exactly works and here i will say 150 and height is <coughs> here uh, we, we have 0 and here I will enter as uh, 20 and the height is 100 we, the, it says it should enter more than 150 I will make it as 200 now you can see in the height of 200 you can define the specific diameter and pitch diameter I will make it as 50 yes you can see here we had created the helical curve with variable pitch and variable diameter at the start and at the end this is how we can create helix curve and similarly we can create spiral curve to enter the parameters for the spiral curve we need to enter pitch a revolution and start angle and this 30 mm is exactly the diameter of this the initial curve what we drawn here from here it will start and the pitches 30 mm every every spiral curve will have the measure will, will have the uh, distance of 30 mm and here you click ok now the spiral curve is created and now we have one more advantage here I was saying about uh, I was saying that I was I was say, I said that in the previous topic we can create a curve through the points so that points will be through uh, through the reference or we will input the points and create the curve but we have the input points in the format of excel sheet or you need to input in the format of x y z what you need to do is go to curve here you have curve through x y z points here you can enter the points one by one x how much y how much and z how much x 20 and y 30 and z 50 you can see here a curve will be generated based on this 
and once again I will say here I need 5 here I need 10 and here I need 80 you can see here the curve is created based on this input but we have one more situation we need to input all the XYZ points which is there in the Excel sheet what do you need to do the first thing is you need to import or you need to copy those XYZ point values to notepad and there you can save that file as text file format and that you can retrieve from here and you can also save the same file into that is the whatever the points are input here you can save as a curse dot sld crv file format and you can retrieve wherever you need this and this is how you can create a curve using zx xyz points and that's all about creating 3d curve in solidworks using different commands like split line project curve composite curve curve through xyz points curve through reference point and finally helix and spiral